Hi everyone, it's Kim. Okay, so I'm going to make um, a few more batches today, and believe it or not, it's 10.15 in the morning, and I'm not soaping in the middle of the night. Hallelujah. Okay, so this next one I'm doing, it's another one of the book series ones. It is for the, for the main character. His name's Matthew. I'm going to call this Scent to Claremont because that's his last name. And um, it is, um, he's supposed to smell like spices like clove and cinnamon. And so I, he drinks, he loves wine and he's a real connoisseur. So he, I have wine and clove and cinnamon and, well, not so much cinnamon, more clove and what else is in there? Oh yeah, and, he, and he's supposed to smell like the old-fashioned spicy carnations. So I have carnation in there, and what else? Oh, and some sandalwood, just to, you know, make it more masculine or whatever. But it, it smells delicious to me. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and add my um, lye water and sodium lactate is in here already, and the silk. And yes, this is room temperature. And I'm going to go ahead and add some. My butters are already in there. I'm going to go ahead and add some colloidal oatmeal. And my yogurt and heavy cream. Half an, half an ounce of yogurt and an ounce of heavy cream. Take a little bit out. Well, let me see. I'm gonna. I want some that's just pure black. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some titanium dioxide to the whole thing.
to achieve a celadon green. Okay, that's as celadon as I get. Looks pretty good. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and do the activated charcoal. I made this last year, but it was before I was like officially selling, and so just my family, we used it, because he was the first scent that I um, mixed up. And then I was just like the whole year I just spent trying to figure out what I was going to do for the female character, Diana, which I call Malion, that I did last night. So Celadon Green is supposed to be the color of his eyes, and then just I wanted the black in there just for the masculine look of it, and then the natural base. I'm not doing anything special, just... Pouring some in. It's always so nice and peaceful. Um, I don't know what it is about being home during the day in the middle of the week is different than being home um, on the weekends because there's so much activity going on with people mowing their lawns and it's just so much quieter. I don't know, there's just like this nice peaceful feeling. I only had the luxury of getting to stay home um, for a very short time when my kids were little and the rest of the time I've had to always be out there working so when I am home to me this is just such a oh I'm just it's just such a good feeling Today's economy doesn't really afford families to really get to do that that often. You have to really struggle, so I can appreciate that. I know how hard it is. Sorry if I have the bucket in the way. I need to get me some more of those pitchers. Just having two doesn't work because I like to weigh out all my oils first for all the batches. And usually I'll try to do, since I have four molds, four of the vertical molds, I try to do them all at the same time. And I really like those pictures. But you know how like when you're trying to get all the 
little goodies that you want to buy, trying to squeeze it all in, it's like, oh, I can use the bucket. So far I like these colors together. Yeah, like I said, I, I listen to the audiobooks all the time. What I like about audiobooks is you get the 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 enjoyment of actually hearing the real story instead of the chopped up version on um, a movie um, without having to when you're a busy person like you know I work full time and then I want and when, I'm, when I am off I am you know doing stuff around the house or working on this stuff I don't, I don't sit when I go to bed it's to sleep because or you know like to sit down I barely sit down when I'm at home, when I'm always doing stuff. And if I am, I'm at the computer because I'm trying to work on packaging or just, you know, correspondence with people on all the different social medias. And so it's it's just hard for me to sit down and read. So when you get to listen to the audio books, books you, get, you get to really hear the real, what the author intended. And if you have a good narrator, it makes it even more enjoyable. And I've listened to a lot of audiobooks, and this narrator on these books, she's unbelievable. I mean, it's it's amazing to me how good she is. It's just, you don't come across that that often. I don't know how that's all going to look, but we'll see. It took forever to load my video last night. Let me tap this down one more time just before I do the top. It's probably going to look like a messy muck in the inside. Never know. Use the hanger, don't use the hanger. We'll see. Okay. I'm not real crazy about that, but let me just fix this.
Okay, we'll just leave it like that. Then I'm going to put some silver mica on the top. I'm just going to miss some on there with a um, pipette. Because this character was a knight, or he is a knight, so I figured that the the silver on the top would look good. Yep. Okay, so this is my other scent, I mean my other another soap for my line of soaps called Sentimental Secretorum. And um, I have how many more to make? I have three more to make today. Of the scents that though they're the ones that I did. Okay. Thank you for watching. Sorry, I'm all out of it. I'm not. I'm not used to the daytime. <laughs>